We're going to graph using a table. We're going to graph the equation y equals 1 half x minus 4. Now, I've always said we pick a random number to put in for x. But the thing is, since we have a fraction, we want to randomly pick multiples of the denominator. So we want to pick multiples of 2. Let me show you what happens if I don't pick a multiple of 2. So let's say I have 3. I just picked out 3. So I'm going to put it into my equation. So 1 half x minus 4. Now I'm going to put 3 in for x. So we have 3 halves minus 4. We need a common denominator. So we're going to have 3 halves minus 8 over 2. This gives us 3 minus 8 is negative 5 over 2. To make it easier to graph, we're going to change this into a mixed number. So it's going to be negative 2 and a half. Now, why do we not like this? Because when I'm looking at my graph, where exactly is negative 2 and a half? Well, we could guess. I mean, we would go to 3 and negative 1, 2 and a half. It's, it's about here, right? But this is a big graph. What if we have a smaller graph? Guessing is just not a really good idea when we're graphing. So that's why we only want to pick multiples of the denominator. So in this case, we're going to pick multiples of 2. So for instance, 2. So I have y equals 1 half x minus 4. Now I'm going to put 2 in there. And it turns out 1 half times 2 is 1 minus 4. So we end up with negative 3. Now, 2, negative 3 is really easy to graph. Let's try another multiple of 2. How about we try negative 4? So we're going to have y equals 1 half x minus 4. I'm going to put negative 4 in for x. So 1 half times negative 4 is actually negative 2 minus 4, which is negative 6. Great. All right. Perfect. Now I can hear some of you saying, oh, how did, how did you get negative 2? Well, let me just make an arrow here. I have 1 half times negative 4. Well, I'm going to rewrite that as 1 half times negative 4 over 1. Now when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across, which is negative 4 over 2. And negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. Cool. Let's do one more. Now what's really cool is zero always works. So I'm going to put a zero in there. Y equals 1 half X minus 4. I'm going to put zero in for X. So Y equals, well, 1 half times zero is zero. Zero minus 4, which is negative 4. And now let's graph it. We have... 2, negative 3 is our first ordered pair. So we're going to go to 2 on the x and down 3 on the y. Perfect. Our next ordered pair is negative 4, negative 6. So I'm going to go to negative 4 on the x and then down to negative 6 on the y. All right. And then lastly, we have 0, negative 4. So I'm going to go 0 on the x. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here. And then going down to negative 4. And now we're going to draw a line. I'm going to try my best here to draw a straight line. Okay, and there we go. And we always want to label it. So we're going to label this one y equals 1 half x minus 4. Great. So let's just review for a second. I have y equals 1 half x minus 4. And I want to plot points. I'm going to use a table. I'm going to use x values that are multiples of the denominator. That means I'm going to use multiples of 2 because what's going to happen is I'm not going to get a decimal or a fraction for my y value because a fraction or a decimal is really hard to graph. And that's about as hard as it gets. Good job!